sorry, just let me queue it up here. Okay, let's just record one and have a listen to it. There you go. Okay. I'm Tom, I'm the um, singer and guitar player in Hi, I'm Tom, I play lead guitar and I sing amazing backing vocals. I'm James, I play the bass. Hello, I'm Owen and I play big orange drum kit. We're doing final um, recording for um, a two track um, project we're working with um, Liam Watson. Um, Grammy Award winner. So um, yeah, we've got some vocals to do and some keyboard, keyboard parts. And then um, yeah, a hit will be born, madam. A hit will be born. I went to Toe Rag Studios in Hackney with yeah, Liam Watson, who's a producer who did Elephant by the White Stripes, and he won a Grammy for that. And um, just to be in, the, in that studio where you know everything's been. You know, all those songs have been written and you know, the songs you've listened to hundreds and hundreds of times have been made in that room and amazing and just having somebody with that knowledge producing tracks for us is... Go check the Red Room! One more round three on it. Yep. And then we've got it down to sort of recording um, sort of the basics, the two guitars, bass, drums and you know, a little bit of an embellishment of keyboard and, and Tom singing and me, you know, the two harmonies. When you kind of grow up in a house like I did, my both parents were like, like some professional singers and stuff like that, music's like everywhere, constantly. Yeah, I was in an opera when I was 10, that was my first time I was on stage and uh, got the, got the, uh, got the vibes from that. I remember dad always saying, make sure you learn an instrument because you'll regret it for the rest of your life if you don't. And that's, I think that's good advice really. The first memory I've got of um, playing music, probably about two or three years old, tapping around the drums and you know, as I grew up I learned to play the drums and played you know, pretty well. In fact, the like, first gig I ever did was like as a drummer. But then, you know, got to about 14 and picked up a guitar and I've got all back since. I started when I was about 18, picked up a guitar to strum along to just any old band that I liked at the time. Um, and then it just went from there really, played guitar, just used to play just sitting around in my bedroom really to music and then I decided to join the band before you know it. I started playing drums when I was about eight or something like that. Um, my teacher was actually Tom Ritt's father, so hence how I know all the boys through that. Um, that, played in a few bands sort of when I was a bit younger and then uh, what joins the wonderful world of the screening? There's no like strict it's structure like, of how we do it. So. I'll, I'll write the music and Tom will then write the vocals and, and the words, or Tom will write the music and I'll write the vocals or the words. It's it, it's it's like Lennon and McCartney. They they uh, well, hang on, no, it's not like Lennon and McCartney at all. But just just to use it, just to use an example, they wrote songs apart, but you know. They, they didn't, probably about the first 30 songs they wrote were together. And Some bands do it, like, like Radiohead, don't they? They, they someone come up with an original idea and they'll bring that to the table and then the members will then go off into separate rooms apparently and then come up with their parts and then bring it all back. But I don't think we could work like that because it would take forever. I like, to, I like to stay clear of the politicalisation of songs and all that crap, but um, there was a big scene, not a big scene, but like, there's quite an extremist movement happening in England at the moment, kind of a far-right, horrible, kind of anti-Muslim, kind of, you know, draw the line at everything. So the work, yeah, is that, it's kind of a bit of a kind of a tongue-in-cheek attack at these kind of bigoted fools who, um, who see people as a colour. I've been climbing up these walls for hours and hours and hours and hours.
This is when we play the song, I just kind of sang into microphones and the words that came out. Reverend's a pop song with kind of hidden meanings. There's all sorts of things going on. It could be a tale of a one night stand, it could be a tale of a long term relationship, it could be a tale of the world ending because of global warming. But no, make your own mind up. <laughs> We've got an amazing fan base, pretty much, pretty much around the world. But it may be that there's only like 20 people in Japan, 20 people in America. Like Leicester's probably thousands. So it all stems from Leicester. I mean, that's where it's great. That's the blueprint, and we can show that we can do it. Down, downsides to being in the band, um, just, the, just the amount of time hanging around really. Constant hanging around. A lot of travelling, a lot of being in cold dressing rooms on a Tuesday night. Leaving your house, picking your gear up, going to the pick all the boys up or meeting each other, travelling to the venue, getting to the venue, Sandman not being there, that kind of thing. Yeah, it's so much hanging around constantly. That's the miserable side of it. A few little 45 minutes on stage. I think success would be to be signed to a major record label or maybe just selling a lot of records. A plan and selling out. Success related to the screen, I mean, we, we, we want to be a commercially successful band. Doing more of what we're doing now, good shows, writing good songs, good recordings. You just need to sell some records. Just to do, so basically we can continue doing it for the next 20 years. It's one thing that irritates me about bands and you know, interviews with bands and they say, oh yeah, we just make music for ourselves, we don't care, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, and sure, you've got, to, you've got to have an element of that, but you know, if you want your songs to be heard, you know, well, otherwise, what's the, what's the point? God save the Queen, I've had this dream Enough is making sense to me Man, it's... Come on, look at you or the camera. Woo! Can't think. Shit! Sorry, sorry. Cos if you like... Oh, bollocks. What is this? Jim, get her out. Oh, do it under pressure, can't I? Go, go again. Take this.